Played. Today we're going to take a look at Mr. Mosquito, a quirky comedic game for the PlayStation 2. Welcome to the home of the Yamada family. It's summer. Do you like summer? Summer drives people crazy. And that makes them commit terrible acts. In this game you play a little mosquito who is trying to survive his summer. The story goes that during a hot summer in Japan, you visit a small house that belongs to the Yamada family. In true mosquito fashion, your goal is to obtain as much blood from the family as possible. In order to do this, you need to pinpoint and attack certain spots on their bodies. Once you attach yourself, you just begin sucking until all your tanks are full. That's it. A very simple concept for one of the most challenging games I've ever played. Now, I'm pretty sure I can guess what you're thinking. Video Wolf, are you pulling our legs? This game cannot be that hard. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. It really is. First of all, all the attack points are not always visible. For the most part of the game, you may be able to spot them right away, but as it progresses, the members of the Yamada family begin taking drastic measures to stop you. These include insecticide sprays, mosquito coils, bug zappers, and even their own hands. Furthermore, you may need to distract the characters in order for them to stop moving long enough so you can attack them. In this scene, for example, where the daughter is exercising in her room, you need to activate her cell phone to distract her long enough to bite, but you must be quick about it. The time window you have to accomplish this goal is over within seconds. Finally, in later levels, you will need to feed off two or more body parts before completing that stage. This means exposing yourself to greater risk because the more bites means the more irritated the family members become and the easier it is for them to spot you. Now what makes this game so great is the humor. The family is weird enough as it is, but as you constantly feed off of them, they are driven insane from all the itching. So itchy. I've got another bite! They begin going to extreme lengths to stop you, including spraying their carpets to surrounding themselves with mosquito coils. Near the end of the game, they even go so far as to booby trap their entire house just to catch you. Gameplay is something to get used to though. It uses inverted controls, which is normal for games that involve flying, and most people won't have a problem with it, but for a person like me who always turns off inverted controls, something this game does not let you do, I found that I had to adjust. Plus, it can be difficult to move around. You see, the controls are a little loose, meaning that the slightest motion in the wrong direction will cause you to miss your target. However, these are small issues, and once you get used to it, it's no longer a problem. You see, once you highlight a bite location, all you have to do is hit circle, and your little mosquito swoops in for the kill. You press R3 and then twirl the joystick to start sucking. While you do this, there are two things you must watch. The meter on the left is called the irritation gauge. You must keep the white circle in the blue zone. If you suck too slow or too fast, you'll begin irritating your victim, which leads us toward the heart monitor. You see, green is calm, yellow is annoyed, and red is irritated. If you don't pull out before red flashes, BAM! Instant game over. Finally, we come to the combat. Yes, there is fighting in this game. You see, if you are spotted by a member of the Yamada family, they will hunt you down relentlessly. The only way to stop them is to hit pressure points all over their body. And if you do this fast enough, you'll unlock new colors for your mosquito. These colors don't really affect gameplay, but they're rather neat to have. The humor, however, is what really sells the game. The narrator is so dry in her presentation of the story that you cannot help but smirk because a lot of the lines she delivers is just really unexpected. Family home. Why on earth not? Because you make people feel itchy. Bear in mind that they will go to great lengths to protect themselves from you. Nevertheless, please enjoy your summer of blood-sucking. The family is rather comedic as well, very over the top in how they act, which reminds me a lot of the Kung Fu Hustle and Shaolin Monk movies. The voices are very stereotypical too, except for the daughter, who apparently has an American what are accent. You doing? I was just practicing. It's so itchy. I've got another bite. 
stop all hobbies that cause injuries. Huh? Flower arranging is the spirit of Japan. What do you think, Rena? Would you like to try it? No way. Kenichi, I covered the tatami mats in the Japanese room with thick insecticide. Oh, there's no way that I'm going to be beaten. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> mm. However, what I love is the sounds they make when you bite them. The mother and father both <laughs> grunt in annoyance. But the daughter seems to moan as if this bite pleasures her in some sick and twisted way. <laughs> Man, now that's just weird. Well, that's Mr. Mosquito for you. A very fun, challenging game with a lot of humor. It's one of those weird games you'd never expect to leave Japan, but luckily it sold well enough for a worldwide release, so you shouldn't be able to have a hard time finding it. Well, everybody, that's it for March's episode of WTF Games You've Never Played. Stay tuned next month where I finally purchase a Gen X and present to you my favorite Sega Genesis game of all time. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next month. Oh, this feels so good.